<laughs> this guy. He'll make a nice lawn ornament. And I'm gonna switch here. There's a switch at the top of it, but... Egg! That means I can handle the next boss. You have found the Baudar Runer Fjall, Hella Jötunsin, who is sitting in the house at the scene. Are you going to be able to get the Svæðið, or are you going to be able to get the Ginnunga Gaar? Yeah, let's just head to the gap. I'm close to done with this game, I think. Because I want to say it's just going to be this boss, maybe another area, and then the final boss. Like I said, this is a short game that you could probably clear in four hours. That's why I thought it'd be a good idea to play it for stream. The language? It's Nordic. Yeah. It's using a mix of ancient Nordic, and in the cases that... Uh, the Norse language is lacking words, it will default to English. It does, yes! Like, if I remember correctly, they actually did hire voice, act voice actors and actresses. I want to say that they hired voice actors and voice actresses that specifically were, like, of Nordic descent, just so they could have it sound right. Sorry, Nordic slash Icelandic descent. And it was a good choice. Great voice direction, great acting. And now for... Hi. You're not gonna attack me. Um... Oh, what in the name of your drossel? Hi. Something tells me your big strength is in your minions rather than you yourself. Such, there's nothing wrong with that. A ruler must delegate, after all. And now you're, uh, declaring the attack. Oh! And people say shields aren't guns, aren't, uh, proper weapons. I want them to take one look at this Yotun and say otherwise. Crap, crap, pay attention to me. Oh, excuse 
me. But hey, look on the bright side. Gold never tarnishes. Unfortunately, you do. Another group of backers. And up through here is the final boss. Such I think I'm gonna need all hands on deck for this. Give me a couple moments. <laughs> scared your friend. Uh, scared your best friend because of your quiet steps. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, give me a couple moments. I think I need to use the bathroom quick. So if you don't mind staring at, uh, the cafe for a bit. Feel free to take a few moments to stretch your legs, get some get something to drink.
I mean, just saying. Like a bell would give you away. All you'd really need to do while you're walking is just hold it in one hand. Voila. All set. Nothing to worry about. Also, back. <sighs> and it's final boss time. The big man himself. Thora. Þrautsegla <laughs> Láttu þessa miklu gjöf aðstóða þig í loka bardaga þínum þar sem ég, alfaðirinn, mun vera loka óvinur þinn. Búðu þig undir bardaga, Þóra. Ekki mistakast að ávinna þér hilli góðana. This begins our final boss fight. And Thor here is using the legendary spear itself, Gleipner. Just figured I'd mention that. Or don't mess around. Then again, Gleipnir is a pretty powerful weapon. You gotta be kidding me. Oh boy. What? Oh, and on top of that, you're using the attacks from all the other bosses. Of course we'd be using the attacks from all the other Yolthus. Lovely.
So that means I need to be especially careful of you. Seriously? Shield. Oh my god. Are you kidding? This guy don't mess around. I could at least chip him down halfway. What? I... I don't want to it. Again. Get two donk. Get third. Excuse me? That wasn't even the power I selected. Okay, I'm getting better. I just need to be more resourceful about my runes. I need to use pretty much every single rune I've got to make this count. Try 
again. Well, I'm not healing anymore. One. I am getting hit by every single one of these spears. King. my resources is the big issue here. I don't quite know how I'm supposed to do that. You square on, come on. Oh, my God, oh.
Oh, joy. Wait, I can slug them out of the air? Wish I knew that earlier. I can slug them out of the air! Oh my god, that's so much easier! That's so much easier than dodging them! This is doable! So the next time I see one of the spears, just donk it! Simple! That's a whole lot simpler! Come on. There we go. Okay, now that I know that I can parry those out of the air with a well-timed swing, It's just going to be a matter of playing defensively. Well, that and actually getting the timing right for the swings. Because it is a funky timing. Even the sl even the light attack has a bit of a startup animation to it, so you got to be careful about it when you crank it out. Two, one, there we go. Good starting damage. One donk. I hit that. Come on, game. That's one. That's 
two. That three. One. Seriously? Seriously? Come on, come on. I know your patterns. Oh good, they despawn after a while. Good to know. Whoop. Yeah, the poison, but I'm still taking some poison damage from that. Uh, Try again. And that is Jotun.
Might as well give my overall thoughts while credits roll, right? So. This art style makes me nut. <laughs> Let's just get the obvious out of the way. The art style, the music direction, they are amazingly good. I love it. I do wish that, like, there was a bit more lore in places, because I feel like every single area had at least one place where it's just like, here's a big expanse! No narration. Just taking the sights. And I like that and all, but at the same right, considering this is so firmly ingrained into Nordic lore and everything like that. I was kind of expecting a little more. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my weird expectations. But that aside. The bosses are really well laid out. They have very predictable tells and patterns, and provided you're paying attention to them, it's not a terrible ask to do what needs to be done. Granted, you do have a you do have a bunch of slow attacks, but honestly, they're simple to time out when it comes to most attacks, except for the spear. That one requires some hella timing, but even still, you have everything you need where you need it, and provided you're exploring, you can get all the things that you want to help you continue, or not. I don't... aside from, uh... Actually, I'm not sure if you can beat this game without collecting a single extra power-up. That's something I might want to try at some point, but I'll probably try it on my off time. At that, again, the game is fairly short, but that's kind of expected for a boss rush type game anyway, considering the big difficulty is these bosses are crazy hard. Good luck. It's a matter of adapting yourself to each and every boss fight, and the mechanics of how you're supposed to be able to damage them, and also keep yourself safe. And I like these types of games. They really make you feel like every single battle you're in matters. It ma really makes you feel like you're learning. It's kind of in a similar respect that I respect roguelikes, because they tend to do something similar to this, in that they give you a bunch of simple mechanics to learn, and then expect you to pull off massive asks. But you have all the tools you need, provided that you practice them enough that you memorize them, then you're good. Sure, there are such things as having a bad day and whatnot, but even still, for the most part, you have everything you need when you need it, and it's all down to timing, rote memorization, and skill. Such, again, I do want to mention, I got this game as part- as one of many, many games, due to the, uh, Ukraine bundle that was, uh, on itch.io in around month- at around March. 10 US dollars for this and many other games. Some of which you might see come into uh, streams at some point. Actually, one of the ones that did get mentioned was Spirit of Error. I think uh, that one was also within the bundle too, such. Oh boy. I may consider poking at that at some point. But as for the base price of this game on Steam, um, give me a couple moments to research that quick. Normally... Yotun Valhalla Edition is 15 US. Thank you. 
it is honestly a lot, I'd say. Maybe wait for a sale when it drops down to about 8 or 9. But even still, this is worth the money for a nice, hard string of boss fights. I think I, I think I will actually just call stream here, cause it's eleven forty-four. I've been going for three hours forty-five. That's good enough, honestly. So to everyone who's dropped by, thank you so much. I appreciate the support I get with these streams. Tune in Friday and Saturday, eight a.m. to noon, for either random games, like say today's stream. Or otherwise, on Saturdays will be our dedicated game clearing. We're going to be starting up the new project tomorrow, so feel free to tune into that. It's Trial... Oh, sorry, not Trials of Mana. Secret of Mana. And, oh boy, I have a script and a half for things to say about that game. Both good and bad. Otherwise... If you miss any of these VODs, don't worry, they stay up on Twitch for a couple weeks. We then port them off to a YouTube channel, Sage Blake. You can also find weekly updates on there as well. Okay, mostly weekly. I did miss a week or two here and there. Of playing games from the Sonic and Amateur Games Expo of the prior year. I might stop soon, considering there aren't too many left. And instead go to an, ex an alternative game clearing on there. Probably finish up... Uh, 48 hour mag mammal. But otherwise, feel free to tune into that. Valhalla mode? What the hell is Valhalla mode? Ah, okay. So, attempt all the bosses, rapid fire, rapid fire. Interesting. I might. Oh, and I missed a rune, apparently. What's this do? Interesting. Hmm. Right, um... Other things to mention. We have our own Discord. Feel free to join that. It gives you a... It gives you an easy opportunity to talk with me and the others of... Synapse, as well as a proper schedule for upcoming streams, and lastly, in the case that we do community nights, that would be a place where you drop in for that too. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't stand a chance. Oh, wow. This is a lot harder. Can you even pick down one of these bosses? Oh, 
so many places I can attack. Interesting. I guess attacking from your arms would be one of the safer options I could. Maybe not. Interesting, though. But yeah, um, let's see, other things to mention. I'm part of several other discords, like, such as Tianus is the Flight, Mega G Wolf's Mega G Zone, that of other indie games coming up like Shield Cat and Havoc Fox. I have a dedicated DeviantArt and Twitter. It's not hard to find me, just search up Sage of Magi, and voila, you're all set there. And as a final item, I already mentioned it once, but feel free anyway. I have a card game project, Rekens Memoria, or Project Remem. It's a free mod for Tabletop Simulator. Feel free to take a look at it if that's up your alley. Think of it like Yu-Gi-Oh! the roguelike. But otherwise, I need to find a raid target. Such. I was going to raid down us, but apparently he did a quickie. I don't know who else to raid, actually. Hmm. You know what? Let's not raid today. Instead, I'm going to wish y'all a wonderful Friday. Stay safe. Stay warm. Eat something tasty. Y'all deserve it. Meanwhile, I'm going to return to my void. Till again. Talakitna. <laughs>